Well, it was two years ago that Superstorm Sandy ravaged the region. And some experts question whether we are doing enough to prepare for the next big storm. Tonight in our special series, Superstorm Sandy, The Long Road Back, I look at how to stop the next surge. Their families who did the absolute right thing for themselves and their families to protect themselves and are still homeless. The images are as vivid now as they were two years ago. Long Island is not only still struggling to rebuild from Superstorm Sandy, but also trying to look forward. You can't stop a storm from coming over your, your community. What you can do is uh, plan for the future. The federal government has allocated billions of dollars to strengthen and upgrade the South Shore infrastructure, upgrading drainage, elevating roads, hardening our power grid. Different types of mitigation projects that will make the local community more resilient. However, the mayor of Freeport says he and other leaders worry that we're not looking at the bigger picture. According to a Newsday study, only a fraction of the money will be used for projects that actually keep water out of the streets in a future storm. It will help the village and the South Shore, but it's not going to prevent flooding in the future. Right now, hundreds of millions of dollars are being spent on the infrastructure on Long Island. But what experts say is really needed are the bigger projects, like movable barriers that could connect the inlets, for example, from Jones Beach all the way to Point Lookout on Lido Beach. And until we close off the inlets, we're still going to be vulnerable to that storm surge. John Cameron, chair of the Long Island Regional Planning Council, says the smaller projects are worthwhile, but to really protect our island from a future superstorm. What we're talking about is trying to close off these inlets here and they range so in with these would have a gate right have a movable gate that would normally be open but can be closed in anticipation of a storm similar barriers exist in the Netherlands and St. Petersburg with great success there's even one off the coast of Stanford Connecticut but to shore up the numerous inlets along Long Island would take money and critics say it would take a lot of it at a minimum, we should assess whether it would work and what it would cost. My fear is that the cost would run into the tens, if not hundreds, of billions of dollars. Dollars that some still argue are worth the investment. The fact is, the north side of our barrier islands and the south, south shore of Long Island was flooded by water which came through the inlets. To do anything other than stop that water from coming in again is... <laughs> I would say just blowing in the wind as opposed to something else. Because everyone agrees on at least one point. The question isn't if we'll have another Sandy, it's when. Superstorm Sandy caused $8.4 billion in damage just to our region. New York Rising has allocated $3.8 billion in block grants for the state. To see our complete series, Superstorm Sandy, The Long Road Back, just go to our website, news12.com, under numbers and links. And to watch extended interviews and Sandy stories, just go to Channel 612 and click on News 12 Extra.